Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm a hobbycraft artisan and artist. Drawing is the biggest aspect of art. Whether it's creating detailed drawings using pencil or bold marks using acrylic paint, it's all drawing. In this video, I'll show you some of the key materials you'll need to get started in drawing and also show you some of my top tips. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon to be notified of new content. There are so many pencils available for you to use and it can be a little bit overwhelming about which ones to get. I really like using Faber-Castell graphite pencils as they have a smooth feeling to them. But these are other pencils I really like using, such as the Derwent sketching and Hobbycraft sketching pencils. Pencils come in a range of 9H to 9B, with the Bs standing for black, the H standing for hard, and F for fine. The higher the number, the darker or lighter pencils will be. For example, if we compare a 4B, 2H and HB, you can see the difference in pencil marks. The 4B is darker and smudgier, the 2H is lighter and scratchier, and the HB is a mix in the middle. I always like to start out sketching with an HB pencil as it's not too light or dark and is easy to erase. The type of surface used for drawing can have a really big impact on your work too. There's such a large variety to choose from. There's cartridge papers, mixed media paper, Bristol board and more, and each has a different type of surface grain. You have your Bristol board, which is super smooth, but doesn't have much tooth, so it can't take many layers of pencil. In comparison, there's heavyweight cartridge paper, in which you can layer a lot more pencil on as it has a lot more tooth. So the tooth of the paper is just the grain. If you feel the paper, you can feel that slight texture to it. This means that the pencil can literally stick to the paper and this allows us to layer and intensify our drawing even more. Erasers are very important to drawing as they allow us to create fine detail and highlights as well as erasing mistakes. Here is a normal eraser and a putty eraser. A normal eraser takes off all the pencil whereas a putty eraser lifts the top layer off. This is great if you realise you've gone a bit too dark on the area and just need to lift off that little bit of pencil. You can also mould a putty eraser into any shape. This is great for creating detail or interesting erase marks. Other drawing materials that are great to have are sharpeners to keep your pencils nice and sharp and to a fine point, and also paper blending stumps. These are great for blending sections in, but you can also use a tissue or just your fingers to blend pencils. Use a wide variety of pencils in your drawings in order to create contrast and depth. Always start shading lightly and gradually get darker to avoid trying to erase a dark patch. Use references and make sure you are constantly looking at it. This is the biggest tip for drawing, especially if you're just starting out. The more you look at your subject, the more details you can add in. Take your time with the drawing, especially the outline. No amount of shading can change the original drawing in proportions, so take time to check it against your reference. Have fun drawing. I think drawing is such a relaxing thing to do, even if I'm just doodling. Go to hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop, find your next craft project, or learn a new skill. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below. Please join us again for more videos.